I'm using a special camera mount that's specially designed to record um, tennis matches on um, either on the uh, tennis fence like this one that you see here or on top of uh, indoor tennis court curtains. Let me know if you would like to see a review of it. Um, I would uh, do one in the future. Here you can see that it's my first time using it. I'm having a little bit of um, trouble adjusting it before mounting it up on the top. Uh, it's gonna take me several different adjustments before I have it right. So please be patient. This particular night I played two sets with my friend Ron. So stay tuned. As you can see here at the beginning of the first set, uh, the camera angle is clearly mounted too low. I can't even see the top of the toss from my opponent. And uh, I'll probably adjust it a couple more times later on in the video. Hopefully it gets uh, raised up higher. I think the, the uh, angle adjustment needs to be tightened up so it doesn't keep moving down on me.
So if I have to crit critique myself on how I uh, played in this session against Ron, my friend Ron, um, I played all right. Um, you know, quite a bit younger than him, but I'm having trouble hitting with uh, enough power on my ground strokes. 
my shots, most of my shots uh, ended up being shallow. So if I were to play against somebody who's um, high 3.5, uh, low 4.0 or above, they'd be able to take advantage of my short balls and you know step up and put it away. So that's something I'm trying to work on very hard in terms of um, trying to put out more, uh, generate more power somehow. Um, a friend of mine who is a uh, coach, he has uh, coached both his, his sons into uh, playing co uh, D1 college uh, teams before, and he's working also with uh, young players in uh, junior high school. He said that um, he could already see part of my problem is that I don't rotate my core enough in order to generate power from my core. He wants to see my left shoulder um, when I start the unit turn. And by the time I finish my forehand swing, he wants to see my right shoulder. Because currently he's saying that uh, instead of rotating the full 180 degrees, I'm only doing like 150, 100, 120, 150 degrees. So that's something I'll have to work on, perhaps uh, with the help of, uh, of the ball machine. So, I mean, Ron plays pretty good for a senior. Uh, can, as you can see, he tries pretty hard. So that's it for this. Uh, play session i'll be playing with somebody else for sure i play at least two three times a week so there should be plenty of content to come and another thing i need to add also is that uh i'm still not uh gelling with the speed mp the 100 square inch racket for some reason i play better with the, uh, the 98 square inch uh, radicals and um just from this playing session is uh, you can see that uh when i whenever i attempt a uh, staff valley with the uh, speed mp i end up shanking the ball i think i ended up uh hitting the bottom of the frame uh well the the lower frame um when i try to stick out the racket horizontally so i'm not sure how to uh solve that problem other than um just practice more with the racket and uh, also with the wilson shock shield replacement grip installed it helps with some of the shock absorption and vibration absorption, but um, still doesn't take care of all of the shock. I still feel it in this trigger finger right here at the bottom of my finger, this vein over here. So, uh, which happens less with the uh, thicker grip, the four and three eight sides. So if anybody has any uh, recommendations on how I can go about alleviating that problem feel free to let me know i'd really appreciate it thank you appreciate you watching and uh, any comments or questions please leave them below um, and please like and subscribe thank you very much and i look forward to seeing you in a future video